Whistling Straits by Kohler. Today we are going to talk about another artist edition ensemble by Kohler. It is an extremely rare edition, called Whistling Straits. It is a nod to the golf course, which is located in Kohler, Wisconsin. Let's talk first about the toilet. It is a hand-painted design on a Gabriel toilet. The Gabriel toilet was used in a few different artist editions, such as Prairie Flowers or Laureate. It could also be ordered in the colors that were available at the time, such as Mexican Sand, Innocent Blush and Sunlight, to name a few. There may be other artist editions that utilize the Gabriel toilet, and if you know of any others that I have not mentioned, mention it in the comments section. The Gabriel is a comfort height toilet, which means it sits higher off the floor. A standard toilet height is roughly 13 to 15 inches from the floor. A chair height, or as Kohler calls it, comfort height, is any toilet that is 15 and a half inches or taller off the floor. These toilets are also ADA compliant. The model number for this particular toilet is a K14344WS47. Remember, the first number is the model number, the WS is the Whistling Straits reference number, and the 47 is the color code for almond, making you aware that this design is on an almond background. So if you find any other Kohler products with a 47 color code, you know it will match the background color of these Whistling Straits pieces. I have another video which will show you exactly how to read and decode the model numbers on your Kohler plumbing products, and also where to find the model numbers on your sinks and toilets. Check out my other videos and like and subscribe if that is something of interest to you. So let's talk just a little more about the Gabriel toilet before we look at the matching sink and faucet. The Gabriel is a 1.28 gallon, one piece, compact, elongated toilet. It does sit at a whopping 16 and a half off the floor. It came in a variety of colors, and the model number for a Gabriel toilet was K3615. When a regular toilet was utilized for an artist edition, the model number was changed to depict that it is not a solid color toilet. That is why the model number for the Whistling Straits design on this toilet is a 14344, not a 3615, if that makes sense to you. This design is very unique, in that it has a sweeping panoramic view of the Whistling Straits golf course on Lake Michigan, celebrating the joy of beauty in golf. When new, this toilet came with a dark walnut oak seat and your choice of polished brass or polished chrome seat hinges and coordinating flush lever. Now let's talk about the matching sink. The sink that carries our Whistling Straits design is a centerpiece sink. The centerpiece sink has also been used in a variety of artist edition sinks, such as the tail of the Briar Rose and the Rod and the Fly. Those editions will be talked about in other videos, so please like and subscribe if you're going to want to see all the details about those designs. So the Whistling Straits design is on this centerpiece sink, and is model number K14274WS47. Again the sink number, 14274, followed by WS for Whistling Straits, and 47 for the almond color code. The centerpiece sink is a self-rimming, or drop-in sink. The sink without the design is model number K2264, and came in many, many different colors, even dating back to the mid to late 1990s. It was a very popular sink, and a cute oval shape. It does not have holes for any faucet mounting meaning your faucet holes will have to be in the countertop itself. With that being said, let's move on to the faucet. The faucet that is used for the Whistling Straits Ensemble is an antique faucet, this is the actual name of the faucet design. The model number is a K108-3, in this case, the minus 3 means it is prong handles, and not lever handles. Lever handles are characterized by a minus 4 in the model number. So this particular faucet would have been what's considered a skeleton faucet, as it would have been a complete faucet, minus the skirts. These ceramic skirts which completed these antique artist edition faucets, are matching accessories to the series, and fit on the base of the faucet. Some artist editions came with a slightly different design, which included top handle insets. They were also made for an antique faucet, but a slightly different model which had oval handles. The oval handles needed top caps to make them complete, 
so you would have to purchase not just the skirts, but also the handle tops for those faucets. Check out my other videos where I go into detail about those faucets and their coordinating Artist Editions trim. Right now we are just talking about our Whistling Straight series, and the coordinating skirts were to be used with the K108-3 or K108-4 faucet, which only needed to the skirts to make it complete. So, what else was included with this Whistling Straight series which we don't have? To my knowledge, the only thing we would be missing would be the floor container, or trash can. The model number for it is AK-14317-WS. It is a very heavy, ceramic vase-like container that came with a hard plastic, removable, interior liner. The liner was meant to protect the interior of the container in the event it was used for trash. I've seen the floor containers be used as vases or just as a decoration. Many other artist editions also had the floor container as a matching accessory, and it also came in solid colors. These floor containers were not called a trash can by Kohler, as I think that insinuated that there's something trashy about their products, which clearly is not the case. The Whistling Straits toilet sold for around $2,800 when new and the sink sold for $1,400. This set was manufactured in the early 2000s. They have been discontinued for at least 20 years as of the time of this video. The faucet sold for around $900 and the matching ceramic skirts for the faucet were about $200. Even after this ensemble was discontinued, the antique line of faucets still remained for a few years and is to this day one of Kohler's best-selling line of faucets. I have another video talking all about that faucet line as well. All in all, this is a very unique set, I am fortunate to have a set like this in my possession. If you're looking for any Kohler products similar to the ones we've discussed today, you can check out this Etsy shop by clicking the link I've provided in the comments, or go to eBay and do a general search. You can find many discontinued and unique Kohler items there as well, 